Farming Simulator doesn't have an undo button. And if you've ever accidentally clicked the buy button on a tractor you didn't want, or placed a sheep farm right in the middle of your canola field, then you know the frustration I'm talking about. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore a previous autosave file and get your game right back to where it was before the accident. I've seen a lot of people asking for this kind of undo feature in the game, and it's very easy to select the wrong thing and cost you a bunch of money or maybe even use the landscape tool in a way that makes it almost impossible to get things back the way they were. So these instructions to get your game back to how it was will be invaluable. It can really save your bacon. So first, you can only do this sort of thing on a PC. If you're playing on a console like Xbox, you're probably just out of luck. Secondly, I'm gonna keep this super simple. Go step by step and explain each step so there's no mystery moves happening. The majority of information I found on the internet was vague and left a lot of gaps or had downright misinformation about how to do it. So here we go. Completely close the game, including the main menu, so you're not holding any files. Open your file explorer and go under Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2022. In here, you'll find several folders for the game, including a series of folders titled Save Game, followed by a number. I'll come back to these folders in a moment. But the folder you want to look at first is the one titled Save Game Backup. You're probably already feeling good that there's a way to get your game back. Open that Save Game Backup folder. In there, you'll find several more folders and one text file. These folders are where your last saved game backups are. They're going to be titled Save Game with some number, then underscore backup with a date and timestamp. The number following the Save Game represents the slot in the Games menu of your saved games you can load, with the number being the slot starting from left to right. In these screenshots, I only have one game in the first slot. So all my save games numbers are followed by a one. Depending on how long it's been since the bad thing happened and how long the game was open, it may not be the most recent file. But whatever your case is, you want to open the most recent folder before the bad thing. Here are your beloved files. Select all the files. You can do that by hitting Control A or in any way you're familiar with. Copy those files. Don't cut. And you can do that with Control C or again with whatever method you like. You're now holding a copy of your game before whatever catastrophic event there was. So where do you put this set of files? Go back up to the folder where we started, which is Farming Simulator 2022 where you saw the long list of save games followed by a number. In fact, you should see the numbers 1 through 20 for each of those save game folders. Just like in your backup folder, these numbers correspond to the slots left to right you see inside the game displayed for load selection. Now remember what I said before. I only have one game currently saved in the first slot. I can show you that by opening the Save Game 1 folder. It has all the files of my current and most recently saved game. If I open Save Game 2 or any of the others, it just has a lonely placeholder file. So now you can probably see where this is going. If you're feeling super confident, you can just paste the files you copied from the backup folder and overwrite the files in the Save Game slot that got messed up. Or you could place them in a new empty slot, the one with the single lonely file. Once your copied files are pasted into the save game slot of your choice, you're good to go. Just open the game, load the game from the slot you've just fixed up, and keep farming. While experimenting with this, I even renamed the save game one folder to something else and created a brand new empty Save Game 1 folder to paste in my files. 
this worked perfectly and felt a little safer than overriding any existing files. This amount of power over the game's save files is pretty good. You could even put your game on a thumb drive, take it to a friend's house, email a great farm to someone for Christmas. I hope this game-saving episode helped you out and give it a comment and thumbs up so others looking for help can find this video. Feel free to check out the rest of the channel and I'll see you next time.